There are three types of radar contacts that will typically be displayed on your fire control radar in the F-16. The first is a search contact or target. The second is a track contact or target, also known as a system track file. The third is a bugged track contact, also a priority track contact or target of interest, GOI. A search contact is an aircraft detected by your radar whose location is then represented visually on the display. Search contacts are displayed as white filled boxes with a line representing their velocity vector and may be tailed by gray filled boxes representing historical detections of that contact as it moves through the airspace. While information about the aircraft's position and approximate heading is available while in search mode, your computer does not use this data to attempt to predict its future location and is therefore incapable of guiding a missile toward it. A search contact becomes a track contact when you command your computer to predict its future location. This can be done in two ways depending on radar mode. The first is by designating a search contact manually with TMS to become a track contact. The second is by entering track while scan mode which automatically converts up to 10 search contacts to track contacts if they are detected twice within 6.5 seconds. Contacts detected less frequently remain as search contacts. Track contacts, also known as system track files, will be displayed as yellow hollow boxes with a velocity vector. To bug a search or track contact is to designate it as a priority track contact via your target management switch. It becomes the tracked contact which a missile you fire at that moment will try to intercept. Only one contact may be bugged at a time. The terms designate, acquire, lock, and sort are usually used synonymously with bug. A bugged contact becomes a white hollow box and a small circle that looks like a bug is placed around it. While an enemy aircraft must be a bugged track file in your system to fire a radar guided missile at it, you don't have to keep that target bugged in order to continue guiding your missile post launch. In certain radar submodes, you can fire at a bugged target, move the bug to a different track contact, and fire at it. The only mode that is reasonably accurate at guiding multiple missiles in BMS 4.37 is Range While Search, Dual Target Track, Situational Awareness Mode, RWS DTTSAM, which allows you to track two contacts and keep scanning a reduced portion of the airspace directly in front of you for additional contacts. From RWS mode, this is done by bugging a search contact and entering RWS Situational Awareness mode. Before launching a missile, slewing your cursor to a second search contact and designating it makes it a track contact, but leaves the bug on the first contact. Once you fire a missile at the bugged contact, pressing TMS right short will move the bug to the second contact automatically, and you can then fire at it. Pressing TMS right short afterwards will again transfer the bug, and you will get updates on your missile's progress towards the first contact. Caution. Awesome.